Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making croutons. So what we're going to do is take some bread that's older, that kind of has gotten hard, that you really won't use for anything else, and we're going to cut it into small pieces to make our croutons. Um, you can use as little or as much as you want. Um, there's one thing, it's just a way to get rid of older bread, but it works wonderfully for croutons. And I didn't know how easy this was to make until I made it the first time, and then I was like, wow, this is kind of amazing. And the best thing about croutons are you don't have to just use them for salads. You could use these on top of soup or whatever. It's really whatever you choose to do. So we're going to cut these pieces of bread into smaller pieces. And I had two Kaiser rolls, is which I'm cutting up. You could use more bread. You could use less. It's your choice. And I'm cutting them into decently large pieces of crouton. Um, if you like them larger, cut them larger. If you want them smaller, you can cut them smaller. It's all in your choice because at the end of the day, they're going to bake up the same way when we make them because all of this is going to get seasoning and go into the oven. And I'm choosing to make Italian breadcrumbs. It's just the kind that I like. You don't have to do that. If you can find seasonings that please you, change it up and make it different by all means. So that way you have what you choose to have. So as I said, we're going to cut these up into a decent size and mine, like I said, are medium sized ones. Um, it's just something that, you know what, it really doesn't make a difference how big or how small they are as long as they taste really great. And these will because I've had the ones that come out of a bag that don't always taste great or they're kind of hard as a rock sometimes. So these will not be hard as a rock. They will actually be crunchy but nice. So we're going to go ahead and put all these into a bowl. And then we're going to add some seasoning. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in this. In total, it's going to be a fourth of a cup, but we're going to do it a couple different times. And then onto that, we are going to add just about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then to that, we're going to add a little bit of garlic pepper blend, which basically is about a half a teaspoon. Then we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then on top of this, we are going to add about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And you're going to add in some Italian seasoning, which I would say about two, two tablespoons would do. And then we're going to mix this all through. And what you're doing here is mixing the seasoning through the whole thing. You want to make sure that it goes all the way through to every part of this. And as you get the seasoning mixed up a bit, you're going to add some more of the olive oil. Because like I said, it's going to be about a fourth of a cup, but I add it in multiple times to make sure that it coats the bread because you want this to go into the oven and actually have a good coating on it. So that way it'll get crunchy, but it will also mix up better. And by the time you're done with it, you're going to have really a tasty thing, but it'll be golden and crunchy and have the edges that you bite into, which are really wonderful. You're going to need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees anywhere around this time because these are going to be in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and halfway through you're going to want to turn them to make sure both sides have browned up, goldened up to make sure that they are crunchy. So keep tossing this around. Um, if you don't think that you have enough olive oil, you can add more because I am. And then mix it up some more. So as you can see, the olive oil and all the seasoning seems to be coating all of the breadcrumbs and that's what you want to see. Now we're going to take this and put it onto a sheet uh, or like a pie pan or even a, a cookie sheet, whatever you want to cook it on and spread it out evenly. So that way when it goes into the oven, you're getting an even layer of baking on this. Because like I said, part way through, you're going to have to turn these but make sure your oven is up to 375 degrees. Like I said, 15 to 20 minutes, but I would watch it to make sure because you do not want to burn these, but make sure that they're evenly spread out onto your pan. Now, once you get these baked, just a reminder, whatever you have left over that you don't use the first time, you can put these in a container and put them in the fridge for about a week and they're good. But when they come back from the oven, they look a lot like this. So as you can see, they're golden all over and they have seasoning throughout. And when you put them on a salad, they look something like this. 
and they are a joy to eat because they have such a great taste because you control how much seasoning goes on them. If you like this video or any other on my site, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and at bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.